What's up everybody, welcome in. You're here today to create eBay business policies. I'm gonna to try to make this video short and sweet and to the point. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna do is come over to the eBay page in the top right hand corner, you're gonna click my eBay. From there, over on the left hand side, you're going to click the account tab. And then at the bottom, underneath selling, you're gonna see a button for business policies. From here, you're gonna be brought to this page. Most likely you're going to have to opt in to business policies if you haven't already. Don't worry, you can opt in and opt out at any time. But to do this, you're gonna to have to opt in. So go ahead and do that for me if you haven't already. So now that you're on this page, you are ready to create your business policies. When you do business policies, you have to create all three types of business policies one for payment, one for shipping, and one for returns. So we're gonna start with the easiest one first, and that's the payment policy. So top left-hand corner, we're gonna go create policy, and then we're gonna click on payments. It's gonna bring us to a page that looks just like this. And from here, we're gonna name our policy. For this one, we're gonna call it immediate payment. Super simple to set up this policy. It's exactly what it says. You're just literally gonna make sure that this button is clicked at the bottom that says require immediate payment for buy it now listings. That means if a buyer comes in and wants to buy your item for full price, they're required to pay for it when they buy it. They can't buy it and then pay for it later. Once we've clicked this require immediate payment button at the bottom left-hand corner, we're gonna hit save. You should be brought back to this page. Again, it's not gonna look exactly like mine, but you should see immediate payment at the very top. If you see a bunch at the bottom that kind of look like this, don't worry about it. We're gonna fix that later, but now it's time to create the return policy. So from here, we're gonna create three types of return policies. At least that's what I use for my business. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. First, we're gonna click on create policy and then we're gonna click on returns. So you'll be brought to a page that looks just like this. We're gonna go ahead and name our policy buyer pays return. So this means that this is gonna be a buyer pays return policy, which means that the buyer wants to return it, they have to pay for return shipping. So next we're gonna click on accept returns. And then for me, I do 30 day free re 30 day returns. Um, you can do whatever return policy you want. I'm gonna keep it on 30 and then buyer pays return shipping for this one. So I'm gonna leave it on buyer pays. If it was free for the buyer to return, you would click on free for buyer, you pay obviously and then money back, and then for international shipping, I'm not gonna bother with that, I'm not gonna click it on, I'm gonna leave it off, and then we're gonna hit save. Now that return policy is done. From here, we'll have to create all of our return policies. I have three again set up for free returns, buyer pays returns, and no returns accepted. Once you get done setting those up, you're gonna go back to create a policy, and now we're gonna do our shipping policies. So from here, we're gonna create our first shipping policy. You can create numerous shipping policies depending on what you sell. For this example, I'm only gonna create a buyer pays ground advantage and a free ground advantage shipping policy. So first one we're gonna do is buyer pays ground advantage. Again, we're not gonna fill out the um, description. There's no need to. We're gonna scroll down to this point where we're getting into the shipping and we're gonna hit calculated. Again, if you do flat rate, you can put flat rate in here if you want to. I do calculated for all of my listings. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find our USPS ground advantage. We are not gonna click this free shipping button. If we were giving free ground advantage, this is the time where we would click that. I'm gonna select our handling time. For me, I do one business day. We're not gonna do a handling cost. I ship through the eBay International Shipping Program, so you'll see that right here. And I do not ship outside the eBay International Shipping Program, so I'm gonna do no international shipping. If you have any exclusions, that's where you put them in at the bottom, and then you'd hit save. And then again, for the free ground advantage, we're just gonna change this over, the title over to free, and then we're gonna fill out everything exactly the same, except we're gonna click on this free shipping option and then hit save at the very bottom. One thing really quick, let's say you wanted to offer multiple options for your buyer to choose when they check out for shipping. This is really easy to do. All you're gonna do for shoes is an example of this that I do. I do priority um, at ground advantage and then UPS ground. So I select down here all three of those options. To offer an additional service, all you have to do is hit this button right here. It'll drop down another bar, and then you can select a different shipping service that you wanna offer. So now you have all of your business policies set up, and your page looks weird because all of these have zero in them, and you need to move over your old listings to your new business policies. So all these at the bottom are the old business policies that eBay had set up. So let's look at this listing right here that says USPS first class free one business day and then it has a bunch of letters and numbers jumbled at the very end. First things first, 
If you want to see exactly what this listing is, you're going to scroll over to the uh, right hand side. And you're going to hit view active listings. From here, I can see that this is a pair of seven for all mankind men's jeans. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to find that listing again, which is right here. And then I'm going to hit edit. And I actually want to change this over to buyer pays ground advantage. So all I have to do is hit change policy for this listing and the drop down on the left hand side and then select buyer pays ground advantage and then hit change. Now what it's going to do is it's going to bring you back to the top of the page and then you're going to refresh this page. When you refresh it, you'll notice it says update in progress, depending on how many listings you have in there. And especially if you're moving all your listings over the first time, this is going to take a little while to accomplish. That one is taking a little longer than expected. So instead of sitting here waiting, I'm going to show you exactly how you deleted the business policy. This will end up looking just like these down here. It'll say zero on the side. And then from here, all we're going to do is select that singular one for this. I'm going to select all of these at one time and then I'm going to hit delete policies and then all four of those policies will be completely deleted and we don't have to worry about them anymore. So I just showed you the way to bulk edit your listings over via the business policies page, but there is a way to do it on your regular listings page and I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's say you wanted to go through and make sure all of your listings are in the right business policies and you wanted to actually see the listings as you were doing it. This is another option for you, but this does take a little bit longer. So let's say for example, these three top listings right here, I wanted to move over and I wanted to have them for no returns accepted. What I would do is I would hit edit and then edit selected and I can edit all three of these listings at the same exact time. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all, we're going to hit bulk edit. And like I said, we're going to change the return policy. So we hit return policy and then down at the bottom, you can change the shipping policy, payment policy, or return policy at this time. We're going to change the return policy to no returns accepted, and then we'll hit save. Now that will save all of those items to no returns accepted. So again, if you wanted to see the listings as you were doing them and you didn't want to just bulk edit them over, this is an option for you. So once you've gone through and deleted all of these at the bottom that were set up by eBay and you have all your listings over to your new business policies, you are done. Every one of your listings is set up. Now I want to show you what the listing process will look like now that you have your business policies all set. So for example, we're on this Lululemon t-shirt listing right here. As we scroll to the bottom, you will see it looks a little different than it looked before. You have your payment policy right here. You should only have one available for immediate payment. If you had another policy set up, you would see it there. But for example, I only have one. So you see 1970 of my listings are set up for immediate payment. We're going to scroll down now and we can see that there is now shipping policy. So from here, we'll select which shipping policy we want. And then down here, you have your return policy. This one is free. I will pay the return shipping if the buyer wants to return it. If I wanted to have no returns accepted or buyer pays return um, shipping, that's set up right here as well. And that's how it's gonna look. That's how the flow is gonna look now as you're doing your listings. So I hope you were able to set up your business policies and it wasn't as much of a headache as you thought it was going to be. If you do have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.